A Mendota Heights High School will soon have a new name. A Dakota County School Board voted unanimously last night to change the name of Henry Sibley High School. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how some fired up alumni made it happen. Henry Sibley High School, a suburban school with some proud alumni. I was involved in the student council and I was a prom chair and a cheerleader and a theater nerd. It was at the time there was nothing that we really understood to be problematic about that name. To be honest, we didn't know much about the history at all. The issue, she says, is the history lesson that wasn't taught about the school's namesake. Most people just know that he was our first governor, and that's true. But what ends up happening is Sibley becomes the guy in charge of eradicating the Dakota from the land where the high school sits. Bethany, class of 97, and other grads watched as racial tension came to a head after the death of George Floyd. They decided it was time for a name change. They started rallying support and had indigenous leaders speak to the school board. My grandparents' grandparents were forced out of their homelands here in Minnesota by Sibley's army. And that's a fact. There's a lot of parents who have kids in younger grades right now that have questions sending their child to Henry Sibley because of the name, solely based on the name. The board listened, voting to change the name, making a new kind of history. And I hope that's a lesson to the students too about adults can change their minds, adults can learn more and do better. And that's, I think, a really powerful conversation to be having in 2020. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. A committee of people from different backgrounds will come together to create a new name for the school.